Hello, and welcome to English Micro Listening Lessons, where you can improve your listening skills by learning how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. This series of videos can be watched in any order and can be used for self-study by independent English language learners or in a classroom by English language teachers. There's information in the box below the video for teachers. Spoken English can be difficult to understand due to something called connected speech, which is the continuous stream of sounds without clear borders between a sequence of words. There, that's better. Some features of connected speech that can make sounds change or disappear at word boundaries and affect your ability to hear words you know are coalescence, elision, reduction, assimilation, resyllabification, linking, and intrusion. Don't worry. I'll explain what each of these means in this series. Awareness of them will improve your ability to hear individual words in the stream of spoken English. Ready? Here we go. This is Andy Roberts singing a Roy Harper song. Watch his mouth. Is he saying wipe man or white man? And where the crazy, crazy white man. And where the crazy, crazy white man. If you're watching this with someone else or with your teacher and classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. The lyrics are white man. However, white man can sound like white man. They both actually sound like white man, white man. Now, uh, just a note, white man is not really a phrase that's used in, in English. This is just a photo of a man wiping the sweat off of his face. However, wipe is a word in English, and so it can be a little confusing if that's what you hear. So why does this happen? It's due to a feature of connected speech called assimilation, which is when a sound changes to be more like the following sound, and it's usually to make pronunciation easier. So first, in English, the final T in words is often not pronounced. And sometimes a T sound at the end of a word like white, changes to a p sound, like wipe, when the following word starts with a b, m, or p sound. I say sometimes because this really depends on the speaker and how fast and informally they're talking. If you don't understand the symbols that I'm using uh, between the slash marks here, to represent sounds, please see the link to the interactive phonemic chart below the video. Here are a few more examples. So number one, instead of get married, you might hear gep, get married, get married. And number two, instead of he hit me, you might hear, he hip me, he hit me, he hit me. And number three, instead of have we met before, you might hear, have we met before, have we met before, have we met before. So please note, this type of assimilation can actually happen inside just one word. 
So instead of hearing Batman, you might hear Batman, Batman, Batman. But since we're looking at connected speech, we're only going to be focusing on when this happens at the border between two words. So to help you hear this type of assimilation, I'm going to say a story. Listen and see if you can identify all seven times this type of assimilation happens in the story. I'm going to read it three times, fast, then slower, then fast. Here we go. The night before we left for vacation, we listened to great music at a local festival. I can get by on pop music, but prefer styles that are a bit more indie. So I found another festival near our hotel. While the music at the first festival was a lot better, the overall experience wasn't that bad because it was easy to meet people there. So again, if you're watching with other people and your teacher and classmates, Compare your answers and see if you can find all seven. Pause the video if you need to. Now I'll read the story slower. The night before we left for vacation, we listened to great music at a local festival. I can get by on pop music, but prefer styles that are a bit more indie. So I found another festival near our hotel. While the music at the first festival was a lot better, the overall experience wasn't that bad because it was easy to meet people there. So again, compare your answers. Pause the video if you need to and see if you have found all seven. Okay, last time, fast again. The night before we left for vacation, we listened to great music at a local festival. I can get by on pop music, but prefer styles that are a bit more indie. So I found another festival near our hotel, while the music at the first festival was a lot better, the overall experience wasn't that bad because it was easy to meet people there. Okay, for the final time, pause the video and compare your answers. Here are the answers. Pause the video again if you need to while you check. A couple of notes. Number three, get by, means to do something with difficulty. And the word indie uh, is short for independent, and it means music that's not created by major music companies. There are also indie films um, that also aren't created by major movie companies. Sometimes pronouncing a feature of connected speech can help you hear it when other people use it. So please listen and repeat after me. If you can, try to make the p sound instead of the t sound at the end of the first word. Here we go. Number one, night before. Night before. Number two, great music, great music. Number three, get by, get by. Number four, bit more, bit more. Number five, lot better, lot better. Number six, that bad, 
that bad. Number seven, meet people. Meet people. So to review, sometimes a t sound at the end of a word changes to a p sound when the following word starts with a p, b, or m sound. A final example is white paper, white paper. Now it's your turn. Think of another example of a t sound at the end of a word changing to a p sound and write it in the comments or pause the video and share it with your teacher and classmates. And now for the real world challenge. Find an example of a t sound at the end of a word changing to a p sound in a recorded or real life conversation and post it in the comments or share it with your teacher and classmates. Thank you for watching this English micro listening lesson. I hope it has helped you to better hear how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. Bye.